You might be watching this because you know that at Multirotor Forums, we like to throw a good contest. And we've got a new contest, and it's sponsored by HobbyKing.com. Our special guest today is also from Hobby King. We're not uh, quite to him yet, John, if you're listening. In fact, we're going to need to call John in about a minute or so. Um, but uh, our contest, our contest is, did I just knock my mic out? Oh, yeah, yeah. I scratched my leg. It's about 20 degrees here, and I've got heavy wool socks on, and they're itching my legs. Okay, I'll be honest. So um, anyway, uh, the, the contest is as follows. Let me get the box of prize stuff. A really common motor right now is what people are using on these 250 size racing quads, okay? It is uh, 1804, I think. This one's 1806, 2300 kV, okay? So they're very inexpensive. They're about 10 or 12 bucks a piece, uh, maybe 16 for the good ones. They run a 12 amp uh, uh, ESC, and um, four of them with five inch props actually carry a decent amount of weight. So here's the contest use four of those motors. Okay, and that's the only real restriction that we're gonna require. Four motors, 1806, 2300 kV. You can use a three or a four cell uh, LiPo. Obviously a four cell is gonna give you more lift. But here's what you have to do with it. You have to go look around your house and what you have to do is you have to find something household-ish. Could be from the garage, could be from the kitchen, could be from your kid's toy chest, okay? And what you have to do is use your creativity to build that into a quadcopter. The more unusual it is, the better it's gonna be, okay? But we still wanna see some flight performance, so it can't be, you know, you can't try to lift the sofa off the ground. It's gotta be maneuverable, it's gotta have some flying qualities, but the more unusual, the more creative, the better. We'd like to see you post some videos of it to the website. We're gonna give you about six to eight weeks. I'm gonna post all of this information to a thread at Multirotor Forum, so you'll have the details. That's also where you'll post your video entries to that thread. We ask when you post your video uh, on YouTube or Vimeo that uh, you label it multirotorforums.com. Uh, we'll come up with a name for the contest. I don't have a name for the contest. I'm usually very informal about contests. I like to have as few rules as possible. I have always switch cameras once in a while. Thanks, Bill. Uh, <laughs> um, I usually like to be very informal about contests because I like to have your creativity, uh, you know, I like to give you as much freedom as possible to be as creative as possible. Um, but I'll post, I'll organize all of this, we'll give it a name and we'll post it to the website. So use four 1806, 2300 kV motors, three or four cell lipos for power, five inch props, you could use three blades if you want, you could use four blades if you want, but um, find something around the house, build a quad, and before you say, Bart, you're a poser. That's a horrible contest. Look at the stuff we have to give away. This is from Hobby King. We have video equipment. We have a video transmitter, 5.8 gigahertz, 40 channels, 200 megawatts. That'll get you around any park, up and down, any little stream that you might have by your house. That's a pretty good range. And that includes a nice uh, cloverleaf antenna as well. That's a Quantum Q58-2 uh, video transmitter. We've got the receiver to go with it. Auto scan, 5.8 gigahertz, also quantum. And um, it displays the battery voltage. It takes up to 12.6 volts. So that's uh, three cell LiPo, which is 11.1. .1. And let's see, it scans. I believe it's, you can hit a button, it'll scan for your transmitter. Okay, we've got the camera to go with it. Uh, Turnigy 2K HD camera. This is kind of like a GoPro format. So the whole package is included. We have this stuff in hand. It's gonna be a winner takes all. We're not gonna divvy this stuff up, say, oh, that's the most interesting kitchen-based quad. That's the most interesting toy chest quad. Uh, that's the most interesting ping, -pang pa ping pong paddle quad. This is a winner takes all, and we're gonna talk about the format. You have a, a uh, adapter wire for the camera to get to the transmitter. We've got a pair of Quantum, I didn't take the tape off of this, but the Quantum V2 uh, uh, video goggles. This is the one that you see quite a bit at fly-ins and stuff. They actually work really well. They're very inexpensive, they're lightweight. It has a foam, uh, a foam headpiece with a display that snaps into place. And then we've also got a 480 size quadcopter frame. Okay, now the one thing we're missing here, and I asked John about this this afternoon when we were doing our sound check, 
I said, John, I like to get as much as I can for the guys at the site. And I think I remember you telling me that you were going to throw in an RC system. And I know a lot of people out there like the, uh, um, oh, it just jumped out of my head. No, not Turnigy. What's the one everyone loves that's programmable? It runs the, uh, what's that? Tyrannus. Tyrannus, that's right. Just right out of my head. I know everybody loves a Tyrannus. Everyone has a soft spot for that. But they're giving us a Turnigy i10 RC system, which has all the telemetry. It has a touch, big touchscreen display. It looks like a really nice radio. John's going to talk about it a little bit when he comes on. Um, but that's the prize package. Very generous of uh, Hobby King to send this stuff to us, to sponsor the contest. And uh, we appreciate it. I hope you guys rise to the occasion. I want to see a lot of entries. I want to see some good stuff. If you're watching the show right now, you got to jump on everybody else. That's going to see it tomorrow at the website. Um, should be a fun contest. And like I said, we'll finalize what few rules we have uh, in the thread at the website. So multirotorforums.com, look for the contest thread.